Hi, in this lecture, I will cover the split data into multiple worksheets by column name. Okay, we going to the step by step. First of all, go to my link and download the practice workbook. And I will paste my link in the video description. I open this workbook. Okay. First of all, we quit this one and unblock this file. If there any issue, apply. Okay. We again open it. Enable the content and hit uh, the one button. The call is the run name. Yeah. Then he asks you to choose the column name. For example, which you split by POY, we enter the five because one, two, three, four, five. Column E is number is five. We click OK. See here. All PO is not separate in the different worksheets in the single click. Okay. We check the codes. I also mentioned the codes in here. See here. This is the code you easily copy and paste your workbook. And I told you one more thing. For example, this function are you using the entire Excel? I will show you how you use the entire Excel. Open your blank Excel and click the developer tab. Again, Visual Basic. Right click on the mouse, go to insert the modules, create a modules. Here, add the space. Okay, when you paste, it's run only this workbook. Or if you, this function run to your entire Microsoft Office application, you just record the micro. This is simple step. Click the personal micro and here assign any short key. For example, I assign the control plus E and click OK. Again, stop it. We no need to write any codes micro. Just stop it and go to Visual Basic. See here, the VB project personal Excel SP is created. Go to the module and modules one. In the bottom, paste the code. Just copy this subject and one drone search, type the call and paste it. Okay. Then I close this workbook. Okay, I open any new workbook. When I press Ctrl E, see here, what's wrong with maybe this micro will be not saved okay for example i again go to the visual basic the record micro the personal micro control e okay the store we go to windows this is the personal micros we paste the codes we copy on websites and paste in the bottom copy the subject and call the subject i save this file okay save it maybe the background is running something okay see here i not stop by mistake the micro when i control s it will be write some codes in here Close it, press Ctrl S and save any location. Just change the change the file type dot xlxsm the open. Okay. Now I press Ctrl E see here. It's run by short key. We add any column, just issue because we don't have a data. We go to another spreadsheets. For example. We go to this spreadsheets, we press Ctrl E and run the file. Okay, see here, our sheet will be separate by POI.
if you like the shipment wise maybe the shipment is the same and we add the status status also same okay we do like a location wise the location number is a column number is a 10 we press ctrl e add the number 10 so we check see here the two location are related PO shipment case quantity line receive dates status all in pair in here you are easily use to short assign to short key and the make a bulletin function on your entire excel okay we understand the codes i also teach you how you execute this step how you add the column number this we explanation code explanation first of all this section i will be declare the different variables okay first one we add application dot screen updating path this command define whatever your screen after update not here pass stop screen updating screen updating is a turn off to optimization your current macro code second one is the command application dot input box this command spreads in the input box and he will ask you the column number in the digits set ws see here first of all i declare the variable ws and second i set this variable to active sheet okay set the active sheet value to ws variable okay the ws will define our reference in the cell column i locate the last row of ws and i use the end x loop and x loop means the last row i choose the previous of the first row in the upward direction third one is the title indicate the first row in the title this is a defined the lo variable see here i create the lo variable as low and here i use the lo variable dot columns dot count the name of the range is unique wsl3 comma lo first of all i lo is the count then i will use the hello is a unique the name range next we use the loop set x from 2 to l this l first of all l is as a long then i use this l for x 2 to l this is a loop next we add the on error resume next if any error in your current code it's keep it and run to next section here I add the if conditions here I add the transpose function when its code is running then it will be paced as transpose <laughs> then WS column is the clear it's mean we your current column is the clear because we uh, we run the transpose and we now need the previous column okay the loop is apply here set the value x from 2 and upper limitation of array marry variables this is the marry variables okay uh, i set another conditions copy data to who row to next here i add the copy data in entire row and copy sheets marry x we, because we marry x will be declared the variables and here the next statements it's repeat by the next code copy data of the wall to next the command remove the sign of the filter in drop down ws dot auto filter is false how is this is a for example here you add any filters okay if you want to remove this statements will be remove your auto filter here okay and then active ws dot activate it means the current sheet will be activated activated means for example the last one is there but when code is running the current worksheet this output will be activated okay then i will add application screen updating true it's mean your screen updating by set the value is a true i hope all is clear Thank you for watching me. If you are new, subscribe my channel for latest tutorial and don't forget to 
check my this website's link and download the practice file. Thank you. Bye-bye.